Believe it or not, there are a lot of unique jobs out there. And one job that may be a bit different, maybe you've never heard of this, is the processing of aronia berries. I think it's going to be fantastic. Our real life guy, Brian Ganusi, joins us with the story. Good morning, Brian. How are you? Good morning. Well, Good morning. I'll have to be honest, before I started working here, I'd never even heard of aronia berries. So it was an education for me, too. There you go. Um, for this edition of All in a Day's Work, I traveled to Hastings to tag along with two employees at the Aronia Processing Plant. They showed me that once they pour the berries on the conveyor belt, it can be a pretty fast-paced job. Mihailo is one of two Aronia berry processors at the Nebraska Aronia Processing Plant in Hastings. He's originally from the country of Serbia and has always worked in food production. Since uh, I was 12 years old, I was working uh, on the chicken farms, producing uh, broilers, uh, that's uh, chickens for meat. And then after, I got, then after that, I traveled to Alaska, where I worked with a fi in a fish factories for two years. Um, after that, I came back and worked with chickens again, producing eggs and produce meat. And now here I am working on uh, with aronia berries. It's Mihailo's job to keep Amanda stocked with berries for the production line. Neither one of them had ever worked with aronia berries before this job. It's different, it's my first time doing it. I've never done that type of work. It's different to clean them, to put them through, to see the way the juice is made. Like, it's a new experience. Uh, trying to explore something new, I, I honestly didn't have much knowledge about that before I start working here. Both employees say they've had other jobs that keep them busy, but this job in the middle of production really keeps them hopping. It keeps you busy, it keeps you at a pace, and you know, just doing this and then checking on this and going over there and keeping everything going in a flow. Uh, my goal in my life is uh, that I think that you, whatever you want to do, you need to have your hands on and you need to be on everything in order to do it right. And that's why uh, I'm all the time running around trying to get everything right and trying to get, trying to get it done. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little bit tired, but it is what it is. That's why we're here. They process about 14,000 pounds of berries a day, which produces about 1,500 gallons of juice. All of the equipment used from blowing off the leaves and bugs, washing the berries, disinfecting them and more, was all designed specifically for the aronia berry. The last step is the juicer. This juicer, it's, uh, so we are making a straight juice out of that juicer where we have berries that are falling down through the basket and you have on one side it's straight juice going out and on the other side you have a pulp going out. So, and like I said, we are producing 100% straight juice with nothing added to it, and that's something that is pretty nice. The juice is then frozen and shipped to bottlers in Missouri and California and marketed under the name Truronia in four different organic flavors. Brian Ganuzzi, NTV's Good Life, Hastings. If you want to learn more about Truronia, you can go to truronia.com. There you can learn more about the product, including the many health benefits uh, from the high level of antioxidants. You can also see all of the places the product is available locally. The list is growing, but it's currently in stores like Russ's Market and Allen's and Hastings. It's coming to many more stores in Grand Island, Kearney. I know Hy-Vee is one of them, but the list just keeps a growing. So. I think this is Awesome. That's fascinating. That is awesome. I kind of want to go watch that done, but it's it's done. The process is done. The process is done for the year, and uh, they they I, I don't know what the final total was on gallons and yeah. all that, but they were really working hard to get it all done the day I was there. So I'm thirsty now. Because yeah. Look at <laughs> organic mango aronia berry juice, organic coconut berry juice, organic aronia berry juice, and organic pineapple. I really want to try this. Yes, we'll have to we'll have to go wow. shopping. And the, so. it, I, the whole process is that it's raised right here in Nebraska. Yep. You got it. Yep. Yeah. And it's just a two people, two people. Two people doing the processing, but of course the, the farm has way more employees than that. Yeah. So, yes. uh, and now they have salespeople that are working hard to get it in more stores. And so it's yeah. a big group, but uh, Very nice. they handled it. So. Well, it's worth giving that it a is try. Really neat. And how, how long ago did they start this business? Um, you know, I think it's, I think this was the first major year of production. So, wow. um, and there are well, other Turonia growers in yes. Nebraska, so. Very yeah. nice. Good luck yep. to them. I love that. I, I really am thirsty now. Yep. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Appreciate it. Great story. Thanks, Brian. All right. We'll be right back. Stay with us.